Thanks for tuning in to What is Analysis? The most important thing to do before starting to write an assessment is to make sure you understand what the task requires. This video looks at what analysis means in an assessment task. Analysis involves a number of steps. When we analyse something, we break the topic into its different parts, show the relationship between them, how they lead to a conclusion, and what action we should take. At uni, you may be asked to analyse different types of information, such as data in graphs or tables, social or economic problems, or how the author of an article creates and supports their argument. An analysis is not a summary, although it can have a summary of information in it. To analyse, you need to do a number of things. First, you need to look for the overall main idea, and then think about what different points make up the idea. Then you need to think about relationships or connections between the idea and points, always asking yourself about the quality of evidence being used to justify these. You should look out for alternative explanations or debates about the idea in question. And you should think about what the main idea means for action. What are the implications of the idea? Let's look at an example task and use this process to create a plan of an analysis. The first thing to do is identify the main idea. These are highlighted in colour. The second thing to do is to develop your understanding of each main idea. For example, you would need to do research on what types of Australian media there are and what body image is and who is affected by it. You would need to do some more research to see if the Australian media had an influence on body image, what the relationship between these two ideas. Then you would need to do some more research to see if the Australian media had an influence on body image and what is the relationship between these two ideas. While you are doing your research, you should be evaluating or making judgments about the quality of the evidence used to examine the relationship between the media and body image. You should also look for any alternative explanations or debates in this area. Finally, you would need to discuss any implications for the influence of the media on body image in your assessment. Think about what actions might be taken, if any, and why these are important. For more handy hints on studying at uni, Check out the other videos in our TuneIn series.